So, Christ is our Passover lamb. The sacrifices have ended. But the Jews still want to make sacrifices. <laughs> they still want to go back to Moses. It's amazing. And uh, it's a great sentiment. And, and, and I, I'd love to, to, to roast the lamb myself, but I wouldn't do it on the Passover. Even though it says in, in Exodus, was it 12, 15, somewhere around there, uh, you should do this sacrifice perpetually forever. You shall keep it, it should be a sign, and you shall keep this forever. Okay. Now, supposedly, this is a law. Okay, now remember that Christ took the law away. But how? If, it's, if the law is going to be enforced forever, how is it no longer enforced? There you go. First of all, all the laws are enforced. All of the laws are enforced. Not one shot or one tittle of the law is not enforced. Yet, we were separated from the law by the death of Jesus Christ. We are no longer under the law. This is what Paul said. That you see, the law didn't die. We did. It said that we died in Christ, and since we died in Christ, it's, like a, it's better than a divorce. Because it's as if a husband died. A wife is, this is Romans chapter 7 for you, okay? A wife is bound to her husband as long as he's alive. Or you're bound to your wife as long as you're alive, or she's alive. And if she dies or he dies, you're free from the law, from that law of marriage. The same thing happened with, our, with the law, with the Old Testament law. The Old Testament law is still in force, but not for those who are in Christ because you died with Christ and you're no longer in him. Now let's take a look at sacrificing the Passover lamb every year. Jesus Christ is our Passover lamb. We eat of his flesh if we partake of Christ. And we drink his blood, which you're not supposed to drink blood because the life of the animal is in the blood. And the reason for that is, is that the life was in Christ. We're allowed to eat the blood of Christ because that's the life we're supposed to eat. We're not supposed to, when that sacrifice was made, it was a sign. You're not supposed to partake of that animal's blood because that's not the animal. You're not just supposed to look to that animal, really. That animal is a sign of the one to come, Christ. And so spiritually, we eat of that, of that Passover every day. We, we ate of it and we keep it as a sign forever because it's what carries us into eternity forever. So we do partake of that lamb spiritually, okay, forever and ever and ever. But to partake of it on earth would be take... To, to, would be a sign that we're not trusting in Christ anymore and we're going back to Moses. It would be a sign that we need, a diff, we need this lamb instead of the lamb that it points to. It was supposed to be a sign. That's what it said, a sign, and we're to keep it forever. And in Christ, we will fulfill that requirement because we partake of Christ forever. Hallelujah. Baruch Hashem. <laughs> uh, take care. May God bless.